Okay, so I am doing my speech. My name is JC Sullivan, and these are my people that I brought. Yeah, there's my six people. I'm Rodrigo. Okay. I feel too big. <laughs> All right. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals is a multi-million nonprofit organization that has shelters all over the world. Approximately 7.6 animals are abused every single day, according to dataviz.com. The ASPCA focuses <laughs> on rescuing animals that are homeless or being neglected. In this paper, I have three points. The history of the ASPCA and how they handle animal cruelty and animal homelessness. First, let's talk about the history of the ASPCA. It was founded in New York City in 1866 to prevent animal cruelty in all 50 states. Okay, according to the ASPCA.org, Henry Berg founded the ASPCA on April 10th of 1866. They have 2 million supporters around the globe. According to Activist Facts, they make around $100 million a year from the Sarah McLaughlin commercials that they have on TV. 35.7 of it goes to the animals for food, vet care, housing, and medication. Oh, the remaining goes to the shelters that are linked to the ASPCA around the world. Every animal that comes in is treated to make sure that their health is up to the full potential. They also get their immunimi immunizations. Immunization. <laughs> Immunization. Immunity. Whatever. Okay, you know what I mean. Um, Okay, um, and they offer classes for new pet owners to like puppy train classes and any questions that they have they can ask. The ASPCA has been around for decades. Will you move that because it's like stopping? No, move them out. Okay, secondly, let's shift our attention to the, how the Humane Society deals with animal cruelty. Every 60 seconds, an animal is abused. The ASPCA helps animals that are part of dog fighting or in puppy mills, slaughterhouses, or like they also help farm animals that are in like overcrowded pastures and stuff. Their response to this is how they rescue, protect, and place these animals. Animal rescue is the first step. According to Companion Abuse, no matter the location or scale of the deployment, the ASPCA is prepared to take on any animal control cases that they need. Animal protection is the ne next step for these animals that were neglected. According to 25 years of animal abuse and five charts, the ASPCA performs spay and neuters to every single animal that comes in if they do not have it. They also will go to court and fight any case, so then that way like, the animal doesn't go back to the person that abused them. Lastly, animal placement is a way to keep all the animals in loving homes. At the Adaption Center, they work to find homes for adoptable animals. They share their best practices, like how they get these animals into these good homes with everyone that is linked to them, so all the shelters around the states. And now that I've covered how the ASPCA handles animal cruelty along with the process, protection, and placement, let's shift our attention. Lastly, let's talk about the increasing number of animal homelessness and how the ASPCA helps those. According to Stay With Me, written by Peter Griffin, animal shelters across the nation are forced to stretch their resources to accommodate an overwhelming population of animal homelessness and at-risk animals. The ASPCA performs certain tasks, the same tasks they would do if the animal was like in a cruelty situation, like they, they'll go in and fight for the animal and take the animal. The first, first the ASPCA rescues the animal they believe are homeless. According to ASPCA.org, we help with investigations, forensic evidence collection, the processing, rescuing, and transportation, transporting them to safety. They set up temporary like shelters if there's like an overcrowding, like if they take down a puppy mill that has like hundreds of dogs, um, and then they make sure that the person that like abused them is put to justice. The ASPCA goes in to investigate measures to make sure these animals find give find their forever homes. In any adoption day, there's about hundreds, like one to like 200 dogs and cats in a facility, and each one goes undergoes like spay and neuters and shots and all that. And then they're put with, like they're matched, the people that come in, they get like, take a survey, and then they're matched with like their perfect animals to like ensure, like if the person has like say kids, they need like an animal that's good with kids. So they match them to have like the perfect family. Yeah. Um, the SPCA isn't just your local animal shelter. They take in all animals from reptiles to farm animals. And they do everything possible to make sure that the farm animals and any animal actually that comes in 
is treated and up to like their full health before they're just put into a home. Oh, sorry. The ASVCA has been around for decades fighting to keep animals safe from being neglected and homeless, along with fighting for their rights. The ASVCA focuses on rescuing animals that are homeless or being neglected. Since these animals do not have a voice, we have to be their voice because no one's going to speak up for their rights unless we do it. So next time you think about adopting a family member, please consider adopting from the ASPCA. Woo! And then I have my note cards. They just have key points so then I can remember it, like what I'm talking about. Yeah, and then I have, I have five of them. Yeah.